Hi guys, this is I'm Stuck, and today we are talking about tissues, organs, and organ systems. So first of all, we will talk about tissues. So what we need to know is that a tissue is a group of cells with similar structure and function. So if we think of a few examples that we find in a typical animal, we have a muscle tissue, and that can contract to bring movement, and that's how we move. Then a glandular tissue produces substances like enzymes or hormones, or an epithelial tissue covers some parts of the body. So you need to remember those three particularly, they're the main ones, is muscle tissue, glandular tissue, and epithelial tissue. Now, the next ones, we need to know a few plant tissues as well. Now, there is epidermal, and that covers the plant, so a bit like epithelial, um, which covers some parts of the body. So epidermal and epithelial are very similar. Then mesophyll, which can uh, photosynthesize, which is obviously very important in plants. And xylem and the phloem, which transports substances around the plant. So that's what we need to know for tissues. There are a group of cells with similar structure and function, and those are the examples you need to learn. So next we'll go on to organs, which is directly uh, related to tissues, because organs are made of tissues. So the stomach is one of the main organs you have to know, and the stomach is an organ made of uh, many things. But the three main, again, are muscular tissue, which is, um, again, like muscle tissue. So muscular tissue uh, uh, is to churn, churns the stomach content, and um, then it has glandular juices, in, and that produces um, digestive juices. And epithelial tissue covers the outside of inside of a body. So those are the three. Um, those are the three uh, tissues that are made, and that is again what I said mentioned in the first part. And that is what the stomach is made of. And the stomach is an organ. Um, uh, there's also many other organs, including things like the small intestine. Um, then for plant organs, they have things like the leaf, the stem, and the root, and they again contain all the um, the tissues that I mentioned before. So finally, we're going to be looking at organ systems. Now, this is directly related to organs because organ systems are a group of organs which perform particular functions. So it's very similar if you think that tissues are made of cells, then organs are made of tissues, then organ systems are made of organs. So it's getting bigger each time. But the um, so the but one of the main things that organ systems um, do is they work together to digest and absorb food in the digestive system. Now, if you think about all of the um, I've done a video all on digestion, but there are many um, the digestion t tissue is a muscular tube which include glands such as the the pancreas and the salivary glands which produce the digestive juices. Um, the liver, which produces bile, the small intestine, where the absorption of soluble, uh, soluble food occurs, the large intestine, where water is absorbed from the undigested food, producing feces, all of these things, as I have mentioned in my digestive system video, which I would recommend you watch if you don't understand about the digestive system, but that is the organ systems, all work, all the organs working together to perform um, the, to, to be able to digest and absorb food. So thank you very much for watching this video. Again, if you don't understand some of it, um, watch some of my videos, including the digestive system, which will help you. But for now, can you please visit my website and please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. See you soon. Goodbye. Bye.